Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully created the test bed for the post detail component, which has three dependencies for this one. For example, let's try to see where is this post detail component. Let's open here. Yeah, here it is the post detail component. And in the constructor, if you try to see, you are having three dependencies. That is, first one is an activated route, second one is a post service, and third one is the location. Now we have successfully created the test bed for this one for testing and also we have created a mock post uh, mock mock services for the activated route post service and also for the mock location. Now it's time for us to test the component. So what is the thing we will try to test here in this HTML we are having a post title. Let's convert it into H2 or H1 or something like this. So now here we are having a post title. Okay. Now we need to check that whenever the post the post comes into this post post variable where is this this post variable we need to check that the template has rendered with the post title or not we need to cross check that one let's try to see that now here let's go to this post detail component dot spec dot ts and here i am writing the first test case it should it should render the post title in the h2 template okay so that's it so this is our post this is our test case and here what we need to do so first we need to do the fixture dot detect changes right so fixture dot detect changes now whenever you run this fixture dot detect changes now what it will try to do here so this ng on it will be executed and this is calling this get post and in this get post what i am trying to do it is trying to take the ID and this ID it is calling the post service dot get post and it need to return the post data as an observable. Now here we are using the mock service right. So what can I do here? Let's try to do the let's try to mock the return value for this post service also. Now here I have created the mock post service as a local variable. Let's try to create here let mock post service it is of type jasmine dot spy object spy object of type post service okay so that's it now here oh sorry yeah post service now this mock post service yeah resembles here now what i want to do before this one i want to do mock post service dot for which one i need to do the return value mock the return value here uh, where is this one for the get post okay fine let's go to here and i am doing get post sorry get post dot and dot return value so i need to do the return value now i need to send an observable why because so get post will return an observable so off it should be imported from the rxjs at the top it will be imported here off from rxjs and off i will send the sample post so it is nothing but id of 3 and another one is a title so title one or something like this i will try to write and another one is a body so body will be body one whatever the data so if you want you can do as post that's it let's import this post also post that's it so this is the return value that is going to be written for the mock post whenever you call this get post now fixture dot detect changes means automatically it will call the get post now the post data will be uh, the post data will be in the here post variable now we need to check that in the template that post title has a data or not so how can we check here let's try to get constant okay element is equal to so fixture dot if you want you can use the debug element okay dot query and i can do by dot css of h2 this is the value so now if you want to do by dot css by dot css half h2 right now if you want uh, now what i can do expect okay element dot text content right sorry element dot native element dot text content text content or otherwise what i can do as html element i can do as html element or otherwise so we can take this one dot native element 
as HTML element. If you want, you can use the like this. Okay. Now here, what I can do? So here, element dot text content. I can directly use the text content. So to uh, to which one it should match? To be of post title, right? So post dot title. That means title one. So if you want, you can do something like fixture dot component instance dot post dot title. It should be equal to like this. Or otherwise, you can directly check with the string something like title one. So anyway, either way is correct. Now let's try to see that one. So for this one, we need to run the test npm test. I am running npm test. Let's try to run this one. Now, if you try to see the all the all the test case has been successfully executed, and here in the where is that one post detail component, right? Where it has been? Yeah, in the post detail should render the post title in the HTML template. The test case got passed. Now, what I want to do? So here, if you want to check, you can also check something like if you want to check here, you can check it with the body. Now, if you see the test case, it has been failed. What is title one? It should not match with the body one. Fine, it's fine. So now I can change it. So without using the debug element, you can also use another method that is nothing but what I can say. So constant element. So either way, either way you can use it. Fixture dot native element. Okay. Fixture dot query selector. Sorry. Fixture dot sorry native element dot query selector. Query selector only, right? Fixture dot native element dot query selector. Query selector only. Fixture dot native element dot query selector of H2, right? As HTML element, we can use this like this. Like this also, we can use it. Now let's try to see the output. We try to see the output. So now here it again got passed. If we try to see here, the post detail component, right? Oh, where it has been went, I don't know. Yeah, post detail component should render. So this one also got passed. Anyway, so either of these things you can use it. So we I have already told you right debug element. Uh, what is advantage and all those things. So fine. Now if you try to see, okay, if you try to see here, let's go into this one. Yeah, let's try to see. In the console, you'll be able to see there are two errors. Cannot bind rotor link since it is unknown property of a. Okay, why is this one is raising is I think maybe somewhere in the post component dot uh, spec dot ts. So we have used the no error schema. I think this tail component we are using in the post component, right? So here we are using this one. So maybe this could be the reason. So let's try to add this one. We'll remove. We'll remove afterwards. Schemas is equal to no error underscore schema. So let's first try to write like this. We'll solve that issue also. Sorry, and here if we try to see, now we are having only one issue that is nothing but cannot bind to ng model. Why? What is this error we are getting? So because in the post detail component at spec dot ts and the HTML file we are using an attribute ng model. We are using this ng model. How we can solve this ng model issue? By injecting automatically the forms module in the app module, so automatically this ng model will be issue will be gone. So in the same scenario. Here in the post detail component dot spec dot ts file, we are using the test bed which acts as a module. Now here you need to do the imports thing. Imports, sorry, imports forms module. I can use like this. Now if you try to see the output, now there will be no errors. If we try to open this one, now there will be no errors. See, so this is how we will be dealing with the activated route. So hope you understood about this one, writing the test case and dealing with that one activated route. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.